Hey y'all. So recently I treated myself to, I guess what you want to call an upper level, maybe a more advanced paint and basically supplies. I have my own um, line of paint brushes, my art brushes, but there's only eight in the line. And so I decided to go ahead and get a level three brushes that I didn't carry from the Turquoise Iris collection. So I'm going to share those with you. I also, something else I hadn't done is I bought canvas paper and um, I'm going to give that a shot. Sometimes I don't necessarily want to buy a great big canvas, but I thought cost effective, especially when I'm practicing things and I'm doing tutorials for people teaching, the paper might actually be a great alternative. And some of you might be thinking, hello, obviously, but I've never thought about it that way. So I bought that and then I also bought some new paper for mixed media. Um, and I'm gonna show you some of that. I bought paints and paint brushes level three and I haven't used it. It's like I'm saving it but I haven't been able to use it to be able to report back, but I feel like the quality is really good. I know that without a doubt, you can tell when you feel the bristles and how full they feel. You can tell like with the cheap chippy brushes that um, fellow furniture artists will use, you can tell the bristles are just very sparse. So the thicker the area is, the more bristles, the better quality it's gonna be, right? But I have not had these supplies until recently. I was just going to be honest. So I bought, I'm not advertising for the paint companies, but I also upgraded and bought level two and level three paints. I've had some golden paints, which I love. Um, I do love, but I'm always kind of like, do I really need to put in the money for this? And um, I think what I've come to decide I'm still going to have a balance. I still want to have my ones because my level one, there are some colors that I'm still in love with, such as my Liquitex. This is a periwinkle and it's a light blue violet is what they're calling it. I call it periwinkle. It's basics acrylic. It's a level one. It's not going anywhere. I haven't found anything that I want to replace it with right now. Um, so I also have this violet purple, which I don't use a whole lot of purple in my paintings, but I'm going to keep this around right now too. I did get a level three in the, um, high viscosity acrylics. Okay. And this is just turquoise. I love this. I really, really love this. Um, this color I have not been able to find in the Titan Mars Pell. So for nudes and skin tones in the golden, I think this is totally worth it because the acrylic uh, number one that I have in the Liquitex, it just, it's not as good. And sometimes when you're doing skin tones like this, you really need this type of viscosity. So um, I feel like this is definitely one that I'm going to stick with as well. Uh, this bright yellow, mm, I'm not sure that I'm married to this one at all. This was a new one for me. So I just wanted this big old honking tube and thought there's a mental thing going on with me right now. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest. I feel like a better artist when I put this paint on my palette. Is that so silly? I feel like that's really silly, but I'm just being honest with you. Um, it is a level three. And um, with the Windsor Newton, I've been seeing it and eyeing it for a while. I haven't used it long enough to decide if it's a must have keep forever. Um, but as you can tell, I'm gonna be using it quite a bit, a lot lately. Um, and then the last one I wanted to share with you was the um, Grumbacher. I'm not sure I'm even saying it correctly, in the Prussian Blue. A lot of people recommended this and I, it's very hard to find a really good navy. And so far, this navy is making my heart happy. So for right now, I am totally married to this one. Um, as far as the comparison, I actually just swiped each one of those on here. And it's pretty much comparable to what I was saying, which ones I'm married to and which ones I'm not. There's a thickness in some of them, like this one, this one to me, is more like an oil. And for some of the smaller paintings that I'm doing where I want it to be very controlled, 
I think it's on point. However, as you can see behind me, I have a wall of acrylic level ones and they're not going anywhere. I am still feel like the quality is really good. I feel like um, there should be a balance and that's what I'm gonna kind of move towards. I'm still going to stick with the level ones. I'm gonna incorporate more twos and threes and I think it's actually going to be more about the colors and the way they work with each other than it is me in my brain saying, I'm only going to use level three because I know, and if you know me well, that's not true. I'm gonna use what I love and love what I use. It's just the way that it is. Um, this Filbert is a one inch level three. Haven't used it, I'm saving it. I don't know why, uh, but I did get this one and I've used it quite a bit, quite a bit. Um, it's a petite liner and it was a level three as well. I realized I can't believe I've been living my life without this thing. Um, and then a couple of watercolors, they're both level three. I don't have these in the Turquoise Iris collection and so this was something that I definitely decided I needed. And like I said, the difference between level one and level three is the amount of bristles. And it just, again, the same with this paint, guys, it gets in my brain and it makes me feel more confident possibly and whatever's going from here to the tips of here it seems better it seems I don't know it just seems like a little bit better artwork like I've instantly upgraded for a small expense <laughs> I am in no way working for any of these companies and I just wanted to offer my insight and talk about viscosity because who doesn't want to talk about that? I know all of you artists do as well. Um, and the papers, I'm excited to start on the papers. So I hope that that helps. Something fun for me to share. I'm in a whole new world and I treated myself and I'm curious, put in the comments if you have treated yourself to some uh, paint skills, art skills, uh, not skills, tools, some new tools. Let me know if you've tried anything and if you recommend anything, please share with the rest of us.